Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use flags within the software to simulate feedback on buttons. Um, I've got a typical scenario here with three AV source buttons and I only want one of them to be lit up at any one time. Now I have my normal button image, I also have a highlighted image that I've already defined for each button, as you can see. And I now need a flag for each of those buttons. So if I go to the top menu option and click on view edit flags, I've got none in the project at the minute. I'm going to create three flags, one called Blu-ray, one called Movies, and one called Sky. And I'm going to just rename the folder to AV Source. Now for each button I'm going to associate its highlighted state with a flag. So I'm going to choose Blu-ray for that button, Movies for that button, and Sky for that button. So when each of these flags is set to on, then the button will show its highlighted image. So to set the flag, we need to do that as an action. So if I double click the button or click on the released action, I'm going to set a flag and I'm going to choose the entire group of flags, AV sources. I'm going to set the entire group to off and add that as an action. And then having turned them all off, I'm going to choose the specific flag of Blu-ray and select that to on. So the first thing it will do, regardless of which button is currently active, it will turn them all off and then immediately after just turn the Blu-ray on. Then I need to do the same for the other buttons. So set flag group off and then just set movies on and lastly set the group off for sky and set the individual sky flag to on.